hey, thanks for coming back to Jake's Face Reacts. Trying to get to as many of your requests as I possibly can. Um, this one comes from one of my favorite YouTube usernames of all time, Person. P-E-R-S-O-N. I'm going to let that one sink in for a minute. And Person was kind enough to give me two options uh, to choose from. So I randomly picked the first one. Um, you requested 1977 Eurovision uh, representative from Luxembourg, and that was Anne Marie B. and Frere Jacques, which I wonder if it's from like the Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Dormez vous, Dormez vous. I don't think so, because you can't use things from another song, can you? Let's see. Hello, bells. Oh, she's here. Thanks for showing up. Look at that camera shot. Okay, well, my goodness, um, she was beautiful, um, lo I love, like, everything about the sort of awkward, again, late 70s looks we had going on with sort of the laser light backgrounds and the, like, layered camera shots where you can tell that they were super happy that they figured out how to show like her and the backup singers from a far away angle off to the side and then her like head on singing it they were like we have found the best way to show this ever so we're gonna use this shot for almost the entire time um i didn't know you were allowed to use like parts of songs that already existed because that that was actually i, I was kind of joking at the beginning when i sang to you part of Frere Jaca, but that, it was really the words from that, I think. I guess that was allowed back then? I don't know. I like the orchestra. My favorite part, actually, of that had to be the backing vocalist, because, like, they had their little, like, they, their little bob, you know, bob thing going side to side. They were, um, it kind of reminded me 
a little bit of um, uh, sort of a more tame version of uh, Maria Serafovich's song, right? When she had like the four female backing vocalists that were in traditionally male uh, outfits, like tuxedos, that kind of reminded me of that. Um, obviously not the singer and not the song itself, but just the backing vocalist and you know how they were styled that was that like swept me away to like i don't you know what i don't even know where luxembourg is i'm assuming it must be close to france because she was singing that whole thing in french and it was pretty good french at that um that was it's always interesting to sort of hear um entries from uh countries that I don't know it because they haven't been a part of the Eurovision experience since I've been a part of it. Um, but that was, she had the full seventies vibe going there. Like, wow. Okay. Luxembourg. Okay. You're probably close to France. That would be my guess. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> no, I really did. I went back there and tried to find, I did. I tried to find it on the map. It's not on there. It's either not on that map because the name is too long and the country is, like, too tiny to write that many letter. I don't know. I couldn't find it, though. I tried. <laughs>